Hi everyone, this is a quick video to show off some of the changes you would have noticed in the May 2019 update for Nutex Forms from Nutex Workflow Cloud. So this is um, a demo of before the update just to show you what the previous experience was. So we've got two email controls here, so email and confirm email. What we want to do is confirm that both of the text inputs are the same. So we've got two controls here and what we'd do before the update is we'd come into our form submit rule, we'd say check email and we'd say if uh, email does not equal and what we can do is click on here and we can't access the form controls through this, through this UI so we have to go and create a variable and so I'd say uh, check uh, email and then I'd come through here and click on the form controls and insert my confirm email now once I click on insert it puts the variable in there and then I can do confirm email show validation and say um, uh, email must match or something like that. So pretty simple, but it's a little bit annoying that you're going to have to create a variable and then put the variable into the rule. Uh, if we go through here, hopefully this is going to work. Haven't tested this. Okay, press submit. Okay, so our rule is actually working. Now, the sticking point was that we had to create a variable and then put the control in the variable. So what we've done in the new environments, so this is uh, the post may update. Still the same experience, we've got two email controls here, but if we go to the rules engine, we'll do the same process. We're gonna say check email, oops, email. And if I say uh, email does not equal, and I'm gonna click on here and click insert, we now see we've got form controls. So then I can insert the confirm email, and I can say then confirm the email, show a lot of message. message. Uh, what should we say, uh, email must match. That'll do. Uh, press create, and we go to preview, and it's just going to it's going to fire the same way. So you dot gamble. Okay, emails don't match, and then we get the validation message. So really, the change here is just the ability to actually insert a control in the rule builder. Uh, rather than having a variable. So pretty simple sort of an update, but certainly much easier to use. The other note, thing you'll notice in the designer for small controls, for things that um, can have a, a limited character set, uh, is the number control we can actually put in six in a, in a row. So what you notice here is, if I just keep dragging these on, we can now put six across. Now, the form itself is uh, 900 pixels wide. It's responsive, but goes to a maximum of 900 pixels wide. So we thought six probably works for 900 pixels, and we are thinking about a, a wider version of that form as well. So you still have your 900, but thinking about potentially extending that to 1200 pixels and a 12 column layout. But for the moment, six, uh, six controls wide for certain controls, so your number, uh, short text, yes, no, those sort of things. The larger ones, your signature, you can actually just put two next to each other. So signature, file upload, they take two, and let's put two over there, and then number and date time, I think it does four, so if we drag on, drag on some date times, one, two, and so really these are sized based on what is going to be usable, because if you had date time and you had, uh, and you had too many of them, you won't actually be able to read them. So some of these have just been restricted based on how usable they are in that interface. So two updates, we've got the inserting a form control in the rule builder, and then also having some controls which are now six columns wide. So hopefully you find that useful and let us know in the community. Cheers.